guys. I know it's been a while. Today I've got something special for you. Today we're looking at a Bosch washing machine. Now this one's got a, an error that it's giving out. This is for fixing a Bosch with an F21 error. So I just zoom in there. If yours is having the same problem, I'll just show you what this is. So you've got the F21 problem there, that error code, F21, the Bosch error code. So this is an error that is related to your motor, so your carbon brushes. So most likely the carbon brushes on the motor have run out and they just need replacing. And then we'll just need to reset the, the computer. So to access our carbon brushes, we need to uh, access the underneath of the washing machine. I'll post a link below to where you can buy your own new brushes. So let's get started. So in order to access the, the, the brushes, you'd need a trolley. If you've got a trolley, you can grab one and put it on the soap dispenser side like I'm just about to do. Or grab a towel if you don't have a trolley. Grab a long towel and put it on the soap drawer side. And then gently put down the washing machine so that you can access underneath. So just like I'm doing, like that. And at this point, I'll probably say, turn off the power and unplug it so you don't get the shockies. All right, so we're gonna unplug that and get started. So just like what I've done there, that's what you need to do. So you're sort of just laying it on, on its side so you have better access to the washing machine. If you don't have one, just grab a towel and that towel will do the trick for you. So, I want you guys to... So this is easily done. It's not that hard to do. So I've got my washing machine on the side just like that. And I'm just going to move you guys over to the underneath of the washing machine. So you probably don't need any tools here. You might just need like a pair of snippers. So you can cut off the cable tie that sometimes holds this. But from where I'm standing, this is an easy one. So in order to access the carbon brushes, you need to take off this earth cable and this harness for the motor. Disconnect that, put it to the side. And then, so what we're looking at in us, so this is, this is the carbon brush. I'll just move in a bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about. So our carbon brushes are just there. So this bit here, this yellow cable. So if you, if you hold it and pull it, you can access it. So there's a little bit of a little latch that you push inwards and then you pull to get the brushes out, to get that uh, terminal out. So in order to get your brushes out, you need to, let's just zoom in closer. So those are your brushes. So just wanna make it easy for anyone who's doing this the first time. I've done this a couple of times, so it's easy enough for me to do, but for someone who's new to it, it might be a bit tough. So if you look at this thing, you can see that there's a little clip there. You push that inwards and then you pull and that comes off. Now to take off these brushes, you have to push it forward and then make this, this, is this slitted bit, this slotted bit, you push it up. So I've pushed it up and then pull out towards you and then it's out. So as I was saying, as suspected, the carbon brushes need replacement. As you can see, this one has had it. That's about it for this one. So just to show you what size this should be, I'm going to hold it up against the new ones so that you can have an idea of how far gone these are. And they can start to really cause problems once they get short enough because then it's just rubbing against the wires. So you can see 
This one had already started eating into the wire that had been in the middle there. So to give you a comparison side by side, see? The difference, eh? So this is a brand new one, and that's the used one we took off. The one causing the F21 problem. So I'm going to plug this one in and going to see how we go. So to put it in, just note that you need to put it in the right way. So the right way, I mean that it's got an angle to it. If you look at it, look there, there's a sort of, sort of like a 45 degree angle. So that 45 degree angle, that face needs to be facing away from this connector. Because this connector, if you look closely enough, it's all it's 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 on this side towards the back so this needs to front face the front otherwise if you put it in the wrong way you'll hear it you'll hear it immediately because it'll start making sounds when you turn the motor all right so putting when you put in the new brushes you want to make sure that that slotted bit see that that bit there the, sl the slotted one comes towards where faces is facing where you've got your yellow connector here because that yellow connector locks it in place so that yellow connector locks in here and then prevents this thing from popping out so once you take it out you'll see what i mean so putting it in is 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 uh same as you took it out you put it's the reverse actually you put it in so you slot the the fat end first, and then the end with the slits last. There you go. And then you push it back. And then you connect your connector. Is in. All right, so remember to plug the motor connector back in. There's no way to mess it up because it's slotted and it won't go in if you put it the wrong way. So you're safe there. All right, so there's two carbon brushes on this one. Yeah, most motors have two carbon brushes, one on opposite ends. So the other end is on the bottom here of the washing machine. So we're gonna need to do a flip of the washing machine. What I should have mentioned at the start is that before you do this, you probably want to empty the filter, which is at the bottom right hand corner of your washing machine, so that when you tilt the washing machine, no water comes out. So your filter is on the bottom right hand corner of the washing machine. So I know the machine's on its side, but this is it here. So you, you pop that like that. Then we're going to twist this thing anti-clockwise until it comes out so when it's on the ground a, lot, a whole lot of water is going to come out you want to make sure you've got a towel or something there to catch that water and then just clean this so we're doing this so that when we flip it over we're not going to put water into our into our main board so your main board is this one so your main board is this bit here so you want to make sure that when you're tilting it, you're not putting water into it. So right now it's okay because all the water is just going to pour straight down into the soft drain and out. But the other way we're going to do it, to put on the other brush on the other end, we're going to have to flip it. So you're going to have to be really quick putting in the other one. Or if you've drained out all your water, you should be fine. There should be no um, nothing going into the, into the board. So I'm going to flip this over and we'll see how we go. And as I said before, you'll need new carbon brushes. And there's a link in the description below to where you can find one. So I'm just flipping mine over to the other side. There we go. And we are going I'm just going to put a light a bit of light there for you guys so you can see a bit better in there so let's move on over 
to this bit. So as you can see, we've sort of turned the machine around and now we're focusing more on um, this bit here. So I know it's a bit hard to sort of um, see from this angle, but hopefully we can get in a better position so you guys can see what we are on about. All right, so that other one is this one here. So same as the other one, you take it out and you're just watching out for that slotted bit and taking out the other one. So you can already see that this one was on its way out. It's very small. So we're gonna put in the new one and putting in the new one is the same as what we did on the other one before. It's making sure that the, the 45 degree angle bit is facing away from the connector. So the connector this time is towards the body of the washing machine. And so we're facing away from that. So let's put this thing in. So if you've put in the other one, that should be enough sort of practice for you to put in this one easily. I'd say take your time, make sure the spring goes in properly. There's no spring hanging out. You need to watch this video over and over so you can get the hang of it. Because um, there's this bit, this bit. So you've got the spring. This spring goes inside. When you take out the other one, you see that the spring goes where the spring goes. So you need to make sure that you're also putting that spring in properly. There's no spring hanging out so that it can fully extend and contract as it needs to. And to, to confirm that you've put those brushes in properly, you're gonna need to like move the motor by hand. So to move it by hand, just over here, the spindle, the belt, just move it like that. Now naturally they'll have a bit of noise in them, that's okay. But if you hear an awkward noise, then that means you haven't put it in properly. So that's that for our brushes. Now the second part of this, some people get lucky and when you put in the new brushes, the thing works straight away. But most of the times the board will need uh, resetting because then now it's got an error logged in it. So you need to help to clear that error for the washing machine. So I'll just show you guys, this is where most people get stuck. They'll go, ah, oh, replace the brushes, but then it's not working. It still has the same error. And then some people would think, oh yeah, it needs a new motor or a new board. That does happen, but most of the times it's the control board that needs resetting. So we're gonna come over here onto a washing machine nice and close and we're going to reconnect the washing machine to our power so you connect it to the power and now we are going to reset the washing machine so resetting is, is pretty simple well, I say pretty simple, but it takes a couple of tries for you to get it right because sometimes it's a bit finicky and there's a lot of um, fixes to this, but I'm going to show you the way that I do it that always works for me. So you'll see that we turn it on again and you still get the F21 error and you go, what's going on? So what you want to do is you want to turn it off and use your other hand to press the start pause button. So you're sort of like turning it on and pressing that at the same time, putting it on the skincare position, keep holding it, keep holding it. 
different models have different fixes for this. So this is the part that probably takes a longer time to get right. And might be hard as well because I've got gloves on. All right, let's turn it off, put it on Express 15, press that and hold till we get something. Press and hold. Yeah, so this part was going to take a while. All right, guys, so I got mine right, right, finally. So the trick is, like, you just have to be patient. And so when it's ready to reset, when you're almost done with the procedure, it'll just have the screen with the all those numbers and the start, start button flushing. And then you just turn it off. And when you turn it on, bingo, it's working. So just to recap, for if you're having that F21 error, so all you do is just imagine it's still flushing F21. You put it all the way to six o'clock. You see how this dial is on six o'clock. Then you press and hold the RPM button, the spin button, that one. So what I had to do with mine, put a bit of spit on your finger and put it there. That will help you to just keep it pressed as well. And after about 15 seconds, move on to the seven o'clock position, which is spin. You're still holding that RPM button. And then after <coughs> five seconds, you'll see that screen come up with all those numbers and then it's ready to reset. And all you do now is then turn it off and then it's ready to start. So as a recap, if you're getting the F21 error, put the dial to six o'clock position then press the rpm press and hold the rpm button you're gonna maybe need to do it a couple of times until it works so press and hold the rpm button on the six o'clock position for about 15 seconds then after that move on to the seven o'clock position and then after five seconds it should start flushing numbers here then you release that um, rpm button and then you can go all the way and turn it off and you should also have the door open while you do this so that it sort of gets the message that you're trying to reset it. So I'm gonna go right ahead and see if my spin is working now because I've reset it. So I'll start the washing machine and I just heard the door lock click locked and let's see what happens. Ooh, I've got a very noisy pump. Very noisy. And that, that's it, that's it guys. Uh, I've got this washing machine now. It should start spinning any moment now because I fixed the brushes, new brushes on it. It should be fine now. So that's what you'll likely have to do with yours. You're gonna need to be patient because it takes a while to reset this thing. So if you need, guys need any help, any hints, if you're unsure about your model, you're having trouble resetting this thing, just hit me up in the comments and I'll be more than happy to help you uh, diagnose and fix yours. So thanks for tuning in. Till next time. Cheers.